All right, this is a bug video for Age of Apes. This is Don. I am the Gun Muse. You're on the Gun Muse channel. And we do a lot of strategy discussion in games, out of games, politics. It doesn't matter. I like strategy. The uh, So, they come out with a new event in Age of Apes. It's, it's they, they changed the subway event. And uh, we, we, we we're having a discussion in here because... I started asking questions because I didn't know if I was seeing what I was seeing. And then you wait three days and all of a sudden somebody comes up with the exact same point that I had three days ago. But we had ghostly silence in there. Uh, because we don't want to let the YouTuber con us into some trick discussion. Right? I don't know what the hell they deal with on other YouTube channels or where they got burnt. I'm not trying to trick anybody. But I can't get to the bottom of problems if we can't discuss whether or not I'm actually seeing a problem or if I'm not understanding the game that I'm learning. Because I'm learning Age of Apes as I'm teaching Age of Apes. So things get wrong and we try to avoid that by double checking. Uh, and what we're seeing wrong here is in the new subway with a treasure dig down in here. Let me get back out of here. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to hold it up while I'm there. Okay, so right underneath the total that I just gathered in the last hour of production time, for a max of 10 hours, I have 65,000 gathered. For a total of 44,000 per hour. So, how the hell did I gather 65,000 if I'm only gathering 44 per hour according to this? There's a first math problem that I didn't even notice until I opened that up. It just jumped out at me when we're sitting there holding the discussion. Uh, just It's just me and you. Look to the left, look to the right. There's no one around you. We're just talking. Sitting on the couch. Got nothing better to do. Got the TV playing. So, you can ignore the TV while you're looking in there. Got to notice these little mathy things. Can't let them slide. All right. So I am on subway 30. And just the last few subways were plus 25, plus 30 per hour. So what we're under the end. But this is a new account. I don't have the relics everybody else has. I don't have uh, a lot of stuff. Uh, so what we're thinking is that per hour. That some programmer has gone in there and failed to add the subway bonus to the rest of the games. And what this display, which I cannot show a second time, and that's the only place I know where to check it. If you know a better place to check it, tell us in the comments below. It is a common question, how do I check my freaking bonuses? Okay, on that. I don't know anywhere else to check it, so I got to wait for it to be gathering something to do that. Uh, I am on Subway 30. For those of you that are just watching this going, oh my God, he's all the way up on Subway 30. Don't be in a hurry to get here because it was like two weeks worth of stuff and I sped it up with CDs to get through the wall in, in like four days versus two weeks to get through the wall. It was a level 40 wall. Uh, and now we'll show you. So see, like food production per hour plus 40, plus 40. If I was to finish this last one was like plus 38 or plus 37. All right. And, and so on, so on and in diminishing returns on a subway one, which I have completed all these. And then we're going to go into challenge. You want to see me epically fail a challenge. This is going to be it because you need a level 40 to beat this guy. All right. There is no way, even with my, my freaking uber mouse that I'm going to do this with a level 21 fighter uh, digger. Right? Got to have that level 40 digger. Uh, I may have gotten 2.5% of this guy down. It ain't much. All right. So, epic feat defeat, right? So, right now what I'm doing is I'm playing the waiting game. As I get free fighters, 
Leveling up free fighters because I got to get a level 40 fighter. You see, I'm stacking them up, stacking them up. And so you're playing a balancing game here in the subway of, of uh, leveling your money makers so that you can buy bigger fighters. See, I want to get to level 15 so that in the middle of the night, level 14s are dropping, not level 13s. That cuts my time in half for every level of fighter that I gain here. But the reason I don't buy that fighter right there is it takes me a long time to get that 191 AP. And it's better spent doing stuff like this where I double my income per hour. Right? So right now I am building up. So what's that? 38, so 650 AOs. So I, yeah, I'll, I'll be able to get that within short times and that'll take that from 7.3 <clears throat> one of the other uh problems in here is i can't see what this is mining now is this chlorine is this carbide i could see it when before i checked the box but there's no hover check nothing to tell me what research I should be buying with my CDs, which is money in the game's pocket, to tell me where I, I think I can get a better game. I would go in there and spend the, the CDs if I thought, if he was like, well, hell, you know, I got this one up here that's doing 11 uh, AO. Uh, why don't I go spend 20,000 CDs and double its output, right? So... There's some display issues in the subways in several levels of some programming, but this is a new feature. It's to be expected. I will post this up in the Discord for the influencers room as well as it will be online here shortly. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and join the Discord room so you can have a discussion in this thing. Uh, point out any problems you're seeing. Don't wait thinking, oh, wow, this sucks. Life sucks. I, uh, everybody sucks. They're all just trying to cheat you. Sometimes they're just lazy, folks. They're not trying to cheat you. They're just not very good at their job. All right, so just me and you on discussion. No developer heard that. Sometimes they're just lazy. And nobody checked their work. See, somebody approved the money to, to write the studio time to build all these graphics and interface and coding. And then somebody's in charge of checking that work. I'm not the guy in charge of checking that work. And I don't even get a free CD for doing the job. But somebody made $100,000 last year to double check somebody's work and didn't do it. And this is the result. So now you get negative marketing if you want to look at it that way. Or you get for free somebody doing quality control checks on your studio. Uh... If you're interested in hiring the Gunmuse marketing team, I highly suggest you join my Discord and get a hold of me privately, and we can discuss my rates. And no, I do not work for the same rate as a 12-year-old who is skipping home, school, home class to film for 20 minutes in the quad. All right, guys, I appreciate it.